Hello friends, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox and today I'm posting for cut cardstock. I'm getting some of my holiday cards done early. So today I'm going to show you how you can use one single embossing folder and how it looks so different when you use different color cardstocks on the background. So here's that Pine Branch embossing folder. This is a new one from Sizzix by Tim Holtz. And um, I love how it just kind of embosses down the edges and the top, or, you know, depending on how you orient your card. But I love that it kind of forms a border. Um, so I did it both on Nina Desert Storm uh, cardstock, and then I'm also using the Kale um, cardstock from Cut Cardstock. Just really, really, really love the way these turned out. So again, I'm going to show you how I'm highlighting some of the colors. So on the Nina Desert Storm piece, I am pulling out my Rustic Wilderness um, Distress Ink and a blending brush, blending tool, and I'm going ahead and just kind of using the brush to add the color to those pine leaves. I really like the way this turned out in the end. And on this particular card, I am going to create a little snowy forest scene. So you will see that later, uh, later in this video. So again, I'm just kind of working in the color. And I really like the way that one turned out. For the green one, I am going to use uh, white pigment ink. This is from Hero Arts. So again, I'm using a regular sponge um, blending tool and I'm coloring around to make sure that I get um, a good coat of the white because again, it pops so much up against that kale green um, cardstock. So again, I've got that done and you can see the background has a lot of eh, straight ink in it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my um, white ink, mono ink eraser, and I'm just going to go ahead and run that over the background to get rid of some of that, um, that background color. So again, you can see here, I'm just kind of, you know, doing it in stripes across the front of the card to get rid of most of um, the white ink on the background. So again, two very different looks with two very different card stocks. So again, I'm going to use this poinsettia dye and the opulent opal card stock to, um, you know, do these poinsettias that are going to pop up there in the corner. So again, this, these are also from Sizzix. So again, I'm kind of laying out all my dyes here and I'm going to cut the um, poinsettias out of dark red cardstock. So again, uh, from cut cardstock. So again, here I am just kind of working and I've got, you know, layers. Um, the Sizzix die generally have additional layers in it. Like I've got two layers here for the flower center and I just used gold cardstock. And uh, what I'm going to do now is you got to poke all the little, all the little holes out there. And then we'll go ahead and start layering, um, layering the, uh, the centers. And then we'll put the, um, the sides, kind of the um, additional layers on the side, which just kind of give them a little more dimension. So here I am just kind of, again, you got to poke all those little, little ornery hole, holes out and uh, we'll go ahead and get it together. So I really like the way this one turned out. And then I pulled, um, you know, some greenery cut from kale and glitter opulent opal cardstock. So you can see here, I'm kind of playing with my design and I'm going to go ahead. There's that opulent opal uh, branches. And again, you can't really see it in the video, but they do sparkle. It's kind of cool. And then I've got that um, bay leaf um, cardstock there for the other one. So then what I did was I pulled out my Versamark um, ink pad and another stamp from Stampers Anonymous and I'm going to heat emboss that in gold right there on the front. Um, you know again it's nice that this gives you that little space there where you can put the um, you know put the sentiment right there and I just think in the end it was such a pretty card. So there it is embossed and so now I'm going to go ahead and work on adding all of my little branches here. So again, I pulled out my, my needle nose glue applicator and I'm just, I'm playing with layers here. So I thought this really, I really like the way this card turned out. I may make more of these actually. I think they're cool. Look at that. So we'll add that little greenery layer. And then we're going to go ahead and add the poinsettias there. 
I'm not generally a poinsettia fan, but you know, I really like these layered ones. And when you add all that additional greenery cut out of cool cardstock, it just really makes a huge difference in this card. So again, there's the final card. So here's the second one showing the scene that I ended up creating on that uh, Nina Desert Storm cardstock. So again, you can see here I pulled the, uh, the green bush piece there and I'm going ahead and stamping um, a tree stamp using that Rustic Wilderness. Again, it's one of my favorite uh, winter holiday type colors. So we'll go ahead and get him stamped. Had to do it a couple of times because of the layered design that's in there. And then we'll go ahead and stamp the snowman uh, using just a, um, a, black, a black ink. Because again, I want to use my watercolor pencils and um, go ahead and color in the designs. So actually I used archival, excuse me, I, I misspoke there. So I used black archival ink because again, I knew I was gonna watercolor on it. So we'll get that all done. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is pull out my um, Distress watercolor pencils and just kind of color in the parts. And then once I get all the parts colored in, I'll just grab a water, uh, water brush and kind of smooth everything out. And that way I've added a little bit of color here to my snowman. I think he's kind of cute. Looking good, looking good. So here's my water brush coming in. And again, it just, uh, you know, the Distress Watercolor pencils are new to me, but I'm just, so I'm just, you know, kind of starting to play with them. But so far I really like them. So there is my scene here so far on that Nina Desert Storm. So I grabbed a red pops of color from um, scrapbook.com and I'm just adding, um, adding ornaments onto the tree. So it kind of adds some texture and some other interest to it. Um, reminder that you need to set it aside because otherwise you're going to mess up all your little ornaments. So obviously you need to set that guy aside to dry for a while. So once it's dry, I am pulling out some uh, sentiment strips and attaching them on the front. And so what I've got is Winter Wonderland and I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. And I have cut black licorice cardstock to add you know, depth to these little sentiment strips. So the next thing, of course, we need some snow. So I got my white gesso out and kind of flicked some dots on there. And then I wanted some bigger snowflakes. So kind of grabbed the, uh, the tip of the brush to go ahead and do that. So now, of course, you can't forget to finish the envelopes. So here's where I've taken just a uh, cream color envelope and the, the uh, Nina Desert Storm envelope, and I went ahead and embossed just the flaps. So then I grabbed that Rustic Wilderness um, ink again, and I'm going to go ahead and color in those... Um, those um, branches. So I thought that was just kind of cool. It just adds a little bit of extra oomph to your to your envelope. And you can see I am using a piece of white cardstock to protect the the front of the envelope. But boy, doesn't that look cool together? And then we'll do the same on a cream color um, envelope that I had embossed. And this one will go with the um, the green poinsettia card. So again, just kind of getting these all done. So again, I got a lot of the cardstock from Cut Cardstock. They really have a great selection. So again, it's Terry with Terry's Mailbox presenting for Cut Cardstock. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Blogger. I would love to have you subscribe to this channel. Have a great day.